I'm out here. My first piece of gold. Just got out here. It's a little cold rain. Look how pretty that is. Just got out here. I'm sure it's got a stamp inside it. It's old, but it's gold. It came in a 10 11. <laughs> here a while. Looks like it could have been an old signet or like a K in it maybe. I'm sure it's got stamps on it but I just got out here, low tone, and I'll find some gold. I'll take it. Yes. Alright. In my bag. All right, uh, this is great. First hunt, very nice hole, make sure there's nothing else in here. That's a negative. All right, hunt those low tones. All right, back at it. This looks like a turtle. Might be silver. I see a little copper color to it, but that. I'll have to clean it up at home, but a little turtle. A turtle shell, and four legs. A little pendant. So, I'll take a look at it when we get home. So, rain. Like 14, so. It might be a little copperish. So. But I've seen silver turn that color, so. Let's see when we get home. Alright. Bag of gold. Some treasures already. You can see the beach is kind of flat. There's a what I call scallops because if you outline them, they actually look like scallops. They're using low sections of the beach because of the waves moving sand. There are some rocks exposed, but I like that black sand look up there too. That's usually heavier sand, but. You see some rocks are exposed. That's what you're looking for, guys, when you come out to the beach. You're looking for these low spots. And you just go real nice and slow. And you're going to have a lot more advantage on finding some gold and silver. Uh, the deeper stuff. Because you can see here, I'm getting a lot of signals through here. A lot of signals. Our, I just got here and already found them. I've already found two pieces of jewelry. I haven't been here 15 minutes. So, anyways, I'll show you more what I find. So, so. Huh. ah, old pull tab. Yep. So we're finding old pull tabs. So that's a good sign too. So, all right. Back at it. We got a solid four five, three four five. So it could be a piece of aluminum. Seen pieces of copper running that too. So let's see what we got. Huh. A solid tin. That could be a different target altogether. Solid tin, real shallow. Could be the same target. Could be a different target. Okay, so there's the four or five. So the other one's just a shallow target. I think I see it right here. Like a piece of metal. Oh, it's a button. Like an old little snap button. I don't know if you can see that, but probably junk, but it's interesting. You put it in the bag. 
we'll have to see what it looks like later. Now I got a solid 10. 10's a good number. And I see something shiny. Ha, <laughs> it's a nut. All right, that's good. Heavy, not too heavy, so no pun taken. But. All right, back at it. Another ring, guys. A little tiny one. I think it might be silver. Could be gold. It's two little rings. Uh, pretty corroded. It's been out here a long time, but it's like a little tiny girl's class ring, maybe. Ring in like a 10, 11. Clean it up. See what it is. Little tiny thing. Bent out of shape, but good fine. Two rings. I haven't left this area here. I'm right in this little area. I got so many targets here. I'm digging all my tens, elevens, nines. Anyways, I'm gonna keep looking. Be a silver dime. It looks like a regular rose. It's got that color to it though. Anyways, we'll have to clean it up at home, but it's like a nice silver. You know. Yep, it's got that color. Alright, I'll take it. A couple of rings, a couple of silver. Having fun. Alright. See. <laughs> Targets everywhere here. I gotta go back and bury all my holes, but I'm just finding targets everywhere here. I'm gonna keep looking. I haven't even made it down the beach yet. I'm just in the first little section, but I gotta catch this while it's low tide. Not much of a low tide, but I think it's a plus four or five, so. The gift to this is the sand is down probably about two to three feet. So I'm having a blast. Anyways, back at it. This hole here, I got a 30-31, and I see it, it's probably a Oh, it's a big washer. <laughs> oh well. Looks like a washer, it could be something else. Brass. Or big. Alright, 30-31, I'll take it. Two, three. What is that, guys? That looks like a ring. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah. Another gold ring. That's two for today. Two, and a two, three. Small little things, but I'll take it. That's two golds. This looks like it might be 18K. I don't know. Any markings? Real small, tiny rings. But it's definitely gold. Yeah. All right, in the bag. Cool. All right, back at it. Hey, Jim and Gina, close to the soil. So, the sequel. It's true. To the it's hunt the that Gina went out yes. on. It's a dime. That's a dime. Okay. Yeah. And this was Sorry. something else. Um, anyways, I decided I was going to go out, and Gina didn't feel like going because it was a little it's cold. It's true. It was. But actually, it was pretty at the beach. It was nice and toasty warm. So um, she had a lot of stuff she had to do. So That's true. I went by myself. And I think it would have been better to hunt yesterday, but there was a little bit more sand on the beach, but I still managed to find some stuff, and I dug a lot of holes, so. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. And from there on, and I got some gold. You did? Yeah, gold rings. Yay! Nice. I'll take them. Anyways, let me start from the back, behind here, whatever. Um... Found some sinkers. When they're gray like this, that's a really good color. You know they've been out there for a while, especially when they're mangled. Look at that. Like that. That's some old, old stuff right there. That's true. And I don't even know. That looks like a chest piece almost. Right? It's a sinker. Or a little lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Lighthouse. I like lighthouse. that. Oh, I like um, Another one of those little bullets. Yep. Another 
one of those other ones like your other one you found and a bigger one right there so i don't know what caliber that is it could be 40 right. 45 i don't know pretty big but um i did get a silver dime i it's a 1960 something so we know it's below 64 but it's kind of corroded i need to clean it up a little bit um i need to get a silver dime i did get a wheat penny uh, it's a 1946. It looks like a D. So 1946 D. Um, other than that, some dirty, dirty coinage. Yep. And I did get one newer weight. So a lot of digging today, especially these little ball things. Right. They, usually when you know when the sand's down, these start coming out. Looks like I got a 38 <laughs> caliber bullet. Um, it's funny. Smashed. Yeah, too bad it smashed. You could have went in your 38. No. Anyways. Um, did you get a spoon? Looks like it's stainless steel. It was all bent up. I bent it right back up, so it's not silver or anything. Nope. So, it's just a stainless steel spoon. But, I did get this little turtle. Turtle. And he's not silver. Uh, oops, sorry. Jerked the camera. Um, I think he's copper with a plating on him, but I found quite a few turtles at that beach one. Right? Charm thing. It's like people that go to the beach really like turtles. I guess so. <laughs> Um, I did find this little junk ring. Um, it looks like I did try to clean it up a little bit. It's funny, it scratched gold, but it looks copper. So I'm going to have to do some more investigating on that. But it um, looks like it could have been an old mood ring or something. I don't know. It's a fit-all. But usually the stone will have a gap in there so you can see through the stone. So it could be just a... Right. Just but it's been out there a long time. And it's heavy i don't know what this is nice. made out of up here but we're gonna have to do some investigating on that but it is a ring a ring is a ring counts yes and i got this little signal ring it looks like there's a k on it or something like that that actually is 14 karat gold test it and you can see where the old solder used to be this was out there a long time it is not stamped i did have to scratch it so it is 14k and held 14k really strong 18 dissolved a little bit. 10 would not even touch it. Nope. 14K held real strong. So, That's true. Little tiny ring. I mean, you look at the size of that compared to a dime. You can see that ring's pretty small. I did get this one too. This is really weird. It's stamped 14K inside, but it looks like it's peeling off kind of. But then I went and scratched it further down. And it's uh, really hard. I mean, you can see where I scratch it really hard. And it's still tested 14K. So this one's throwing me off a little bit. Right. It looks like the it's plated. But yet, it, once you get down to the base it's metal, yeah. right, it's still testing 14K. So I'll have to investigate that a little bit. But it is gold. So. Yes. Anyway. And guys, check out this little thing. This actually is silver. And yeah. it's got a little bead on it. And it is so small. Uh, you said it's an earring? I think it's probably like an earring. Yeah. It probably unhooks underneath the bead. Yeah. It's but really, really small. Yeah, it's really it's little. silver. It's 925 silver. And you can see how big that is compared <laughs> to the dime. Um, it's really it's small. It's little. Anyway, so all in all, I found three rings today. And right. these were down deep. Yes. And I got a little silver earring. And I did get a silver dime. And so I did get some silver and gold today. Yay. And a lot of lead. And a lot of lead. Got the lead out. Yep. Of the beach. Too. <laughs> Anyways. Me and Dobby stayed home today. Yep. Definitely. I like these rings. I like finding these old Signa rings. So nice. pretty cool. You can see the design on it. It's almost worn off. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. cool though. But it came out of the dirt, out of the uh, beach. And it was deep looking like that. I have not wow. cleaned that up. That's what it looks like. And That's it's pretty gold awesome. holds its it's true. color. Sure does. It's so. a trip though. Yeah, that one we'll have to check out more. It's a trip. It looks plated, it, but it's right? still scratching. And that's the base metal. After right. the plating peeled off, that's still the base metal. Still huh. testing 14K. So. It's a trip. We'll have I don't to check know. it out. Anyways. Alright, so my own hunt. Yeah. And Nemo, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? Hi. Huh? What's up, KG? Anyways, welcome yep. to see him on the table. And to our next hunt, I think we're good and we're all caught up with everything. Yeah. And so we should be up to date. And like I said, we're going to do a little bit more changes on our videos. We're going to start making them a little bit more personable. Um, and I uh, hope you guys will like it. If not, you'll let us know. I'm sure you will. So. Please do. Yep, definitely. Yep. 
until then i uh, will see you on our next hunt and hopefully we'll get larry out there with us and yes. uh met a couple other people that were interested in hunting with us so nice we'll get some new nice. uh people out there hunting and uh we've yet to make it out in the relic fields guys it's uh, true i know there's a lot of people that live up in those directions that are making it out there but I don't know if yeah. it's the COVID thing going on Nobody or whatever. On the property. Um, knock it's on really weird. Right and now. the weather's it's, been really nasty too. It's so. been horrible. Anyways, until our next hunt, yes. we'll catch you later. And follow, like, share, subscribe. Comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. We don't care. We do. We're good. I like thumbs up. Yeah, we don't like thumbs up. No, we I'm do just love saying, the comments. We do care. So. I love the comments. Yep, definitely. Until then, oh. we'll catch you on the next hunt. All right. Bye.